नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर आदित्य मंत्री आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोसर्जन एट अपोलो मल्टी स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल कोलकाता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एंडोस्कोपिक सर्जरी एंड देयर रोल इन न्यूरोसर्जरी एंडोस्कोपिक सर्जरीज और व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज मिनिमल इन्वेजिव सर्जरीज नव अ डेज पॉसिबल फॉर ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स एंड डिफरेंट ब्रेन लीजेंस एज वेल एंडोस्कोपिक सर्जरी इज यूजली डन थ्रू द नेचुरल ऑरिफाइस ऑफ द ब्रेन ऑफ द बॉडी लाइक नोज और बाय मेकिंग अ वेरी स्मॉल इंसिजन ओवर द स्कैल Previously, we used to take big incisions, but nowadays it is possible to do the same surgery with small incisions or even without giving any incision through natural orifices. For example, most commonly endoscope is used for pituitary surgeries or other skull-based surgeries. The advantage is we can have a very close look of the tumor. We have a panoramic view, which was not possible previously. and we can go for maximal safe resection which not only gives us a more chances of complete removal of the tumor at the same time post op radiation dose is also decreased secondly we can also use endoscope for some deep seated tumors with the advent of neuro navigation now it is possible to guide specifically to that particular part of the brain even if it is in the remotest part or deepest part and we can remove the tumor under direct vision other applications of endoscope is the most common application nowadays is etv or endoscopic third ventriculostomy used for obstructive hydrocephalus sometimes it is also used for other cystic lesions of the brain where we can use endoscope to make fenestrations in the cyst and communicate it with the natural csf cavities of the brain